According to estimates from U.S. officials, Ukraine will be able to hold the territory claimed by its forces in Russia's Kursk region for at least several months, if not longer, reports Bloomberg. According to officials, Ukraine has not yet faced serious supply issues in the Kursk region as Russian forces have launched only limited counterattacks and have instead focused on their offensive in eastern Ukraine. Officials noted that the Ukrainian armed forces now have more stable supplies of artillery ammunition thanks to the efforts of their allies. President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Ukraine could use this territory as leverage in negotiations, although it remains unclear when talks with Moscow might take place as Russian President Vladimir Putin has not shown serious willingness to engage. According to Bloomberg, Ukraine's allies suggest that Zelensky may be preparing to adopt a more flexible position, exploring ways to end the war. U.S. officials said Ukraine is trying to determine the best way to protect itself during the winter and is also beginning to plan for actions next year, including the possibility of additional brigades. Recently, there have been no significant advances reported by either side in the Kursk region. Russia's counteroffensive in Kursk Oblast has also not yet ousted Ukrainian troops from the region. The Ukrainian military claimed on September the 18th that the counterattack had stopped, with Russia only regaining a handful of settlements. Moscow is instead concentrating on its grinding advance in eastern Ukraine, closing in on the Donetsk Oblast cities of Pokrovsk and Toretsk. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that the Kursk incursion succeeded in drawing some Russian troops away from Ukraine's front line, but that it is too early to judge the overall success of the operation. Zelensky also maintains that the offensive has helped Ukrainian prisoners of war by replenishing the country's exchange fund, enabling prisoner swaps with Russia. The seizure of Russian territory is meant to improve Ukraine's bargaining position in future peace talks. Mykhailo Podolyak, an advisor to Zelensky's chief of staff, Andriy Yermak, said earlier, Many in Ukraine have felt that Russia, who brought the war to their doorstep in 2022, should face the consequences of the conflict. Ukrainian fighters captured two more Russian servicemen in the Kursk region of Russia, where a military operation has been taking place for almost two months. The captives were brought to the area outside the battle line in an armored car, with their faces covered. Currently, fighting continues in Kursk. Ukraine is keeping up the necessary pressure on Russia on the Kursk front, President Volodymyr Zelensky has said. There was also a separate and long report by the Commander-in-Chief on our frontline actions, on all defensive operations, as well as on the Kursk operation, the fighting in the Kursk region is now in its third month, and we are keeping up the necessary pressure on Russia in this area. Head of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine Kirillo Budinov also delivered a detailed report on the processes taking place within the enemy system and our influence on them. There was also a report by Minister of Defense Rustam Yumirov regarding aspects of our cooperation with partners, Volodymyr Zelensky said. The Kursk offensive, which comes as Ukraine increasingly strikes Moscow's military assets deep inside Russia, has demonstrated Kiev's ability to bring about a new phase of the war in the third year of Russia's brutal all-out invasion. But some analysts warn these audacious tactics, rather than presenting a thorn in the Kremlin side, only fuel war support in the regions affected. The incursion into Kursk was Kiev's attempt to redress that momentum, drawing Russian forces away from the country's east and boosting morale across Ukraine. It was also meant to show Ukraine's western backers that Russian, red lines, are not backed by action, potentially helping Kiev to receive permission to strike Russian territory with western-made missiles.
Субтитры